Morning guys, we're on Revelation chapter 12, reading from verse 11. And it says, And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb, and because of the word of their testimony, and they did not love their life even when faced with death. And so we're just going to look at that one verse this morning. And just to remind you of the context, is that there was a war in heaven between Michael and and the angels and this great red serpent the devil is cast down to earth and with his tail he he whips a third of the demons with him and they get bound and thrown down to earth and so now he's angry and he's is a great tribulation a great persecution against the church and how does the church overcome satan there's a war between us even now satan's real the demons are real they have authority um, to an extent over the earth and over the heavens. At this stage, the authority is now limited to earth and the fury is, is going to be outworked on the church. But how do we as saints, as, as believers, overcome in this spiritual battle? And here it says in verse 11, And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb. And so as when I first read that, I just pictured the blood of the lintel and the angel of death that passed over in Egypt when the firstborn sons were died and they sacrificed that unblemished lamb and was the blood um, that saved them. And so a blood without the shedding of blood there's no remission of sins. So blood needs to be shed. Blood is the life f uh, form of an animal and so Christ became that perfect sacrifice. And so when his, ble his blood was shed on the cross his, his blood covered all sins. So it's past, present, future sins. And he washed us as white as snow. And so our sins are removed as far as the east is from the west. So in that sense, when Satan came, and it says in the previous verses that he came day and night accusing the church. In that sense, because of the blood of the Lamb, those accusations fail. Because Jesus has paid for it all. But then it goes on to say, and because of the word of their testimony. And so not only were, were the church covered by the blood of Christ, but they were also living the testimony. So that, that word had become real in them. And as James 2 says, faith without works is dead. There needs to be an evidence of salvation in your life. There needs to be works, good works coming out of your life. And that is your testimony. And if there is no testimony, you need to ask yourself, maybe there's no saving faith. And so every true believer, born again Christian, will produce works. Because the, the God, Christ comes to live in him, the Holy Spirit's in him. And the Holy Spirit will then produce those works. And because of the word of their testimony at this time, while being persecuted, um, that's also how they overcame Satan. And they get, he gives a wonderful example here. He says, and they did not eat love their their life even when faced with death and that really um, shook me when I thought this will will I stand true to Jesus in the face of death because there's a time coming where believers will be asked and maybe a gun will be held to your head and you'll be asked do you love Jesus and if you deny Christ you'll live um, but if you denounce him you'll die and so we need to know are we truly putting Christ first? Are we truly um, living that word and that testimony that shows that, we, that He is the number one in our life? Um, because as the times get harder and harder, um, our faith is going to be more and more tested. So we need to really be drawing close to, to God at this stage, especially in these times. So I trust you have a wonderful day. God bless.